friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we're just gonna get straight into it. First thing we're gonna take is a glue stick just to glue down our eyebrow. After you glue it down, you're going to set it with some translucent powder. I recommend doing this step at least twice just to make sure that your eyebrow is completely glued down before our next step. Next we're going to grab a piece of fusible fleece. This has a rough side and a soft side. You're going to put your button against it and you're going to cut around the button. Not exactly to the size of the button but just a little bit bigger than that. The smooth side of the fleece is going to go against your eye and then the rough side is going to be against the button. So you want to make sure that the fleece covers your eye area completely including your eyebrow but still has to be bigger than the actual button. You can always keep cutting the fleece and adjusting it until it's the perfect size. Next we're going to take some spare gum and we're going to place that on the outer edge of the soft side of the fleece and also on our skin. Be very careful with the spirit gum around your eye because the fumes of it can irritate your eye. So I recommend that you keep your eye closed through this whole process of the gluing um, just to be safe and just so it, your eyes won't water or anything like that. Next, I'm going to take any regular black eyeshadow and black out the center of the fleece. This is so that when you look through the buttonholes, you won't see the white of the fleece, instead it will just be blacked out. Taking that spirit gum again, I'm going to put some on the outer edges of the button and also on the outer edges of the black on the fleece. This is the part where you want to keep your eyes closed because of the fumes and if you keep it open, you will feel it, it will burn. Once you've done that, you want to press that button onto the fleece and hold it there for a minute or so until the glue is completely dry. Next, I'm taking some liquid latex and some tore up cotton balls and I'm basically just going to be placing the liquid latex on the edges of the button and then putting down a layer of cotton. You can do this as many times as you, as you like, it's really just to hide the edges of the button. the cotton on then you have to saturate it with a last layer of liquid latex and also use the latex to blend out the edges of the cotton. that off you're just going to set the latex with translucent powder. Moving on to the beauty makeup I'm going to be priming my skin with the Fenty Beauty Primer and then putting on some Too Faced Born This Way foundation.
brush to place some foundation onto the edges of the button. And if you're a bit messy like me, you can always use a makeup wipe to remove some of the makeup that you might have gotten on the button. Filling in my Coraline brows today with the e.l.f. gel liner in coffee. To clean those up, I'm using my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Also using that same ColourPop concealer to prime my eyelids for the eyeshadow. Taking my Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be using shades Weekender, Riff, Good Is Gone, and Punk. I'm using the Weekender shade on my whole lid and crease just to help blend the other colors better. Next, I'll be taking Riff and placing that all over my lid. Then I'm taking a mixture of Good Is Gone and Punk and placing that on the outer corner of my eye and also the crease. Grabbing that no filter concealer again, I'm going to be concealing underneath my eyes, the very tip of my nose, my chin, and my forehead. making sure I set everywhere where I place that concealer with, again, translucent powder. Using the Riff and Punk shadows, I'm going to be placing those on my lower lash line. Picking up my Modern Renaissance palette, I'll be using shades Red Ochre, Venetian Red, and a little bit of Cypress Umber just to give our button eye a little bit of a bruised up look. rosy cheeks, I'm taking Pretty Vulgar and Prim Vixen and Physician's Formula Blush and Brunettes. Coraline also has a couple of freckles, so to do that I'm going to use a brow pencil from ColourPop. And I'm really just stamping it on there and then rolling the pencil to give me a perfect defined freckle. Now I'm grabbing my Kat Von D shade and light palette and just lightly contouring my face all around. She also has a really defined nose so you'll see me contour my nose as well in a second. just a little bit of highlighter just to define the very very tip of my nose even more.
for her lips, I'm going to be taking the Growlactic Lip Paint in Posh and also lining my lips with the NYX Lip Pencil in Nude. This lip combo is my absolute favorite. I wear it all the time, so if you're wondering what lip color I'm wearing, it's most likely this one. Now here's the fun part. I'm grabbing some stage blood and just placing that all over the edges of that eye. So I'm bringing down a little bit of the stage blood just to kind of give it a dripping effect. This will settle in and dry that way. So just kind of place it however you want. You can make it as bloody as you want or you can make it as simple as you want. It's really all just up to you. That's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.